you guys. All right, so we've had a lot of people asking, and we thought the best way instead of writing this online um, was to share it as a video, a little documentary, I guess, a little foretelling of what happened from both of our sides. So uh, the important news is, is the baby is healthy, our baby daughter, she's great, and so is Blinka. So let's start with the what kind of happened. Okay. Um, and that's Julian. Uh, say hi, Julian. Say hi. Okay. <laughs> um, so it started uh, Monday night. I was visiting or visiting family, celebrating mom's birthday, and I'm having contractions, which um, they're not really. I mean, they're hurting, but not so much, um, making me kind of confused that maybe it's Braxton Hicks. So Monday night, that uh, Monday evening, it starts. Monday night, it, it goes away. Um, sleep through the night. Next day, where I'm having the same thing again all day. Um, first, as the, after three hours and an hour, and then more frequent towards the evening. Um, and then that day, we called family to come, thinking, "Okay, this is it. This is gonna yeah. be it." Yeah, not yet severe, but just consistent. We saw the midwife, and she yeah. said, "Yeah, I have this feeling. This baby's coming." We were all kind of feeling that way. Yes. Oh yeah, we did visit yeah. the midwife that day too. So. We were thinking that it was going to be it Tuesday night, but uh, well, that night we went to bed and they went away. <laughs> so Wednesday morning, I was being I was frustrated and um, feeling defeated. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I went to work actually. Yes, which I work very close. But anyways, yeah, he actually went to work. I um, my mom made me drink tons of water and the contractions completely went away. Um, Wednesday morning, so I was thinking, okay, this is just Braxton Hicks. Um, it's not really going to happen soon. Maybe I have another week, because I was technically we were. I was thirty-seven and five. Yeah. Thirty-seven weeks not and five days. Weeks. So. So yeah, uh, the day goes on, and that evening, of course, right at five. That's right when, when I was about to come home from work. Yes. Yeah. I get a strong contraction. The strongest one yet, like yet, severe. Yes, um, that makes me tear up. So she was crap crying. Yeah. So then I'm thinking, okay, finally we're starting. Yeah. Um, and it, with ex with um, Julian's our experience with Julian, it took a while. So I was thinking, you know what, this is probably going to take a while. Um, Got to wait till they get closer together. And so, I mean, you called the midwife to make sure. Yeah. And she said, she said, just make sure that they're the same intensity for a good hour. So, um, we we're waiting for them to get closer together and form a, a definite pattern of intensity. So, um, we go to bed late Tuesday night, or because you were Wednesday having them off and on. We watched the yeah. movie, and my mom and my sister here. Were, oh yeah. We're like talking in between. She's still having them, but it's erratic and. Or sporadic, and um, we go to bed at like ten thirty. Yeah, all of us. Yeah, so um, ten thirty. I right now, uh, right then, I had it like every thirty minutes, and then go down to like ten to fifteen minutes, and um, and of course, I'm going from ten to eleven. It's like trying to go from seven then go, goes back to 11 and 18 minutes it's just sporadic and um then finally at 12 45 i get hit with a hard one and I, well, and yeah. at 12 you woke me up because i was i was sleeping yeah. and and yeah it was like you gave me your phone because she was keeping track of it on the app and she said, they're getting really consistent, or I'm having them severe, and I looked down, and I was like, okay, but I was remembering that hour thing, I'm like, let's wait till you, it's one, because at 12 you've been having them, and we were up together since kind of midnight, and I said, let's wait till one, and then 12.45, you have a severe one, and you say, I think we should call. Oh, it was 12.45, I had the really bad one with you? Yeah, I was up since 12 with you. Oh, so 12, I had, I had the intense one that woke him up yeah and then 12:45, um 
we started thinking, let's try doing the the moves that we plan on doing. Yeah, she had all these help. labor moves, you know, yeah. all these things in your head that never worked out. But yeah. we did try one, so you were on yeah. the ground, like, I got, I got labor. Um, yeah, I, I mean, one of the, the positions was to have my head, I was thinking maybe I could have my head laying down on the bed and then my knees on the ground. I don't know what I was thinking. She was but getting, but you were just I was getting on down on the ground, and then I got on all fours, and I it was it was a really bad one, and that's when my rotter broke. And, and you I, just felt it, right? Like yeah, it just it just popped. <laughs> and and I, to me, I didn't hear anything or anything. I just hear her say, "My water broke." I'm like, "Really?" And then out it comes, trickling down. I'm like, "Okay." So I'm like, "Well, I'll call the midwife now." It was 12:55, right? So we had almost that hour. But mm -hmm. I kind of wish I would have listened to you because at 12.45 you said we should call. I'm like, let's just wait. <laughs> so it's 12.55. Yeah. Oh, sorry. To back up a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was, he was trying to make me wait. Uh, I think it was just the, because it started the intensity Thank at 12, you. I started to get a little nervous and um, scared. So every now and then I would tell him, oh, at first I was like, let's call my mom. Then I was like, let's call my sister. Let's call the midwife. And yeah, that's when the water broke. And then so, the water broke and I was like, okay, it's getting real. And uh, yeah, so you got the car right? So it's 12.55, I called the midwife. I said that her water broke. She said, oh, okay, I'll meet you guys there. We know it's like a 20 minute ride. So we're like, okay, so I'm getting Belinka dressed. She's like, oh, she can kind of talk a little bit, but she's feeling it. Mm -hmm. So um, you would just put on your sweater and your jogging pants. Okay. We get in the car. I wake up my sister and say, hey, we're leaving. My sister and my mom are asleep and Julian. I said, I'll call you in a few hours. You can bring Julian because we really wanted him to be there right after the baby's born. But I'm thinking four or five or even six. So she's like, okay. I tell my sister. It's like 1257, 1258, 1259. We're getting on the road and Blink is kind of having contractions. And it was just a total Jesus thing, like, Jesus, take the wheel, like my sister said. <laughs> We're on the freeway. We start praying, which we kind of do at trips, but it just triggers, okay, I need to pray. And just God had it all worked out because um, it's something I never do. I, well, I open the door for you most of the time, but when I open the door for her, I push the seat back, which that was just automatic. I don't know why I did that, but I pushed oh, it back all the way. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was really weird. But I'm thinking of these things now that... It was God, you know, trying to help us out, I think, make four of them. So we get in the car, we're on the freeway on the 202, and uh, you have, what does it feel well, like? Are we just prayed, prayed? And yeah, I prayed, and I had another contraction, um, and uh, kind of like the one where my water broke, um, and... The, it's just, it was something else, because... I, I didn't feel this way with Julian at all, and I think it's just because with Julian, we were already at the midwife, um, the birthing center, and um, everything was calm and relaxed, and I was I don't know, in the zone or whatever. But in the car, I'm just I'm I'm worried. I'm, I just want to get there as fast as possible. I'm uncomfortable, and that contraction hit. And of course, I'm trying to keep myself calm and not to scream or anything, but uh, it hit and it continued and it, I just couldn't help myself. I started to scream because yeah. I was like, when is this going to end? It just kept going and um, I, it was like, it was kind of like a screaming cry. I'm, I'm slowly remembering yeah, it. Yeah, it was like this like song, like, whoa! I, she did, I'm sorry, but I, I didn't hear with Julian because she was pushing and ah, ah and look, you know, but this one yeah. was like, wow, something, just, and even in my head I'm thinking like crying, but I'm like, okay, this is new, I wonder what that means. Yeah. And so, right after that? Right after that, I just remember the pain stopping, like it completely stopped, and then there was pressure, tons of pressure, and then. And, uh, Under pressure. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. I, I, was, I was thinking, oh goodness, what is going on? Um, and at that time, I think I was also already kind of getting out of this, kind of moving my butt out of the seat to, to try to help myself. 
and that pressure just intensified like some things coming out and so that's when I told David I think the baby's head is coming out yeah and so of course he's driving yeah out. I think that's what he said I think the head's out I think you said no, coming out. out oh it sounded like heads up okay oh maybe I don't know I don't know it just happened so it was fast so fast it happened really fast and at this point I'm just getting on the 60 from the 202 there's not a place to pull off thankfully it's in the middle of the night one in the morning there's no cars but I'm going 70 miles an hour so I'm just like okay and just naturally for some reason I reach over and I buckle her and you're like the baby's coming out mm -hmm. And, and the I head's coming out. The head's coming out. And I said, okay, babe. I said, you can do this. Or something like, reach down and get your baby. You're he unbuckled me, and I felt the head coming out. So I had to quickly try to pull down <laughs> my pants. And it's just the, I, I think the baby just did everything <laughs> herself. She just <laughs> came out herself. I didn't have to, I don't remember pushing at all. Um, just, yeah. Um, if every birth if, is like that. Yeah. I don't really remember pushing, but it probably was like involuntary. Yeah, because you didn't want to, right? I didn't want to. I was trying to hold it, but <laughs> the baby just came on out and did a sweet little cry and then was quiet for the rest of the car ride. But as it's coming out, you're picking her up. Oh, yeah. I picked her up and <laughs> put her on my tummy. I tried to wrap her with my jacket as my much sweater. as I or my sweater as much as I could. Um, she had her grandma's sweater, grandma that just passed away. Yeah. She got it when she was at the funeral in Haiti. So she was wearing that. So that was cool. So, but you couldn't pull her too high because the cord's still connected. Yeah. And so you're holding her like low. So um, yeah. that moment when she, I said, pull it. I'm like, you can do this, babe. I'm looking back and forth. I look at the seat and I look over and she's already holding the baby. It was just so fast. So, um, I tried to film it, but I was so excited and shaking and driving that I got like one second in. So we didn't get any video in. Maybe I'll show it to you guys, but it's you can kind of hear us talking. And that time stamp on the video said 113. So we're pretty sure the baby was born at 112. So her water broke at 1255. Called the midwife at 1257. So basically it was like 17 minutes, something yeah. like that, from the time her water broke to the baby came. And it just was so fast. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my gosh, you did it. <gasps> oh. I never, ever imagined having a baby come out that fast. I thought it was going to be a long process. Just yeah, like, we both did. I thought hours and just thought, okay, because this is the intense labor. There's still more yeah. to come, but she was ready. This yeah. baby was ready. Yes. So you are like, should we call 911? Should we, what should we do? And oh, yeah. I asked him if we should call the midwife or <laughs> tell the midwife or meet the midwife at in the emergency. Yeah. I, I, so I called the midwife and I don't know how, why I was so calm. I just attained it again to God because it typically, well sometimes when one person's, you know, having a harder time, the other person can be calm, but either way, God just controlled the situation and not having any cars on the road and just all that. But, uh, so I did, I called the midwife and she, I said, the baby's here. She came out. She's like, okay. She's like, well, you're almost there. I'm like, yeah, we're like eight minutes away. So we go to the birth center, we park, and luckily it's, there's a front door. We go in, I get her. She comes out. Blinka's holding the baby. She comes, opens the door. We get baby and Blinka waddling out yeah. and bring her in, get her um, on the nice bed in there, and then Blinka yeah. has everything else. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, we still don't know what the sex was because she couldn't remember. Oh, yeah. We, I, I was too scared to. Yeah. To take a look. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to move her or try to um, make her colder than it already was. So yeah. once we got in in there, we lifted her up. And now I finally got my video out just in time. Yeah. And you to can see. see in the video. And she's so happy because yeah. Blinka really wanted a girl. I had in my mind like the day before that, oh, it's going to be a boy. All these boy names going around in my head. Yeah. But it was a girl, so we're awesome and blessed. And her temperature was low again because she was born in a cold car. We didn't have the heat on or anything, you know. Yeah. And, but she got it up really quick within a few hours. We did skin to skin and stuff. And they just kept she's watching her. And she's a trooper. So her name is? Her name is Cosette Adira Ferguson. Which means in French, Cosette is little one or little thing. Mm -hmm. And Adira is Hebrew for strong, so mm -hmm. she's our strong little one. Yeah. She's amazing. She's doing yes. great. Julian's been a great big brother. It was so cool. We got to come home right at sunrise, 
and Julian slept through everything. I actually oh, yeah. got to wake him up, and he woke him up, brought him out here, and he got to meet the baby. It was just so cool. So yeah. everything worked out. Not the way we planned at no. all, but God was watching over us, and we're so glad he took control. So yeah. So yeah, yeah. little baby. Yes, very little. So yeah. Yeah. So I think that's it, right? Yep, okay. that's it. It's our story. And here she is. She's in here with us. I'll show you. She's over here sleeping. Julian's playing on his thing, and here's the baby girl. Just had a lot to drink. Little Cozy, our Cosette. It's a girl! Is it a girl? It's a girl! It's a girl! Yay! Right. Why don't you take off your sweater and let's peel your shirt off? Yeah. And get it. It's okay. Oh, her fingers are long. Yeah, already. She's definitely a girl. So she definitely was scratching me on the inside. Yeah! <laughs> That's what you were feeling. Oh, yeah. little girl. Duh. <laughs> She's wide awake. Hi, baby. Aww. Hi, baby girl. What a cute baby. You okay, babe? You crampy? Yeah, just shaking. Shaking's okay. really normal after birth. If you get feel too crampy, we have some things we can give you. Okay? Thank you. Very consistent with And then I think those we leave here. What? The blanket. I think that's theirs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just have this one and this big one. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then the car seat cover. Yeah. We're probably gonna wait to put her pants on until um, she Riding the 202 to the 60 will never be the same, huh, babe? So six hours ago, we just had our baby girl. Got to the birth center, finished having everything else that happens after the birth. And the baby's good, vital signs are good, and we're on our way home. And the sun just came up. So what a day, huh? You're awesome, babe. What a night, what a day. What a night, what a day. So fast. It's awesome. Baby name still to come. Guess what, Yuji? <coughs> Mommy had the baby. Come see. She wants to give you a hug and a kiss. Yeah. Oh, my good boy. Okay, come on out. Okay, Judy's coming to see her. Okay, Mom, stop taking pictures. You ready? Come on out. Can you give Mommy a kiss? Give Mommy a kiss. Wait, does he see? Go, go. He just, I woke him up. Look at Mommy's tummy. It went down. It went down. Do you know why? Look behind you. Baby came out. out. The baby came out. The baby it's came baby, out. Baby Gigi. Oh. Thank you. Oh, dark. Mm -hmm. It's a baby. Do you like it? Do you like her? It's a girl too. Mommy had a girl. <laughs> Can you give the baby a kiss? Baby. This baby's here. Baby, that was a mama's dummy. Oh, mm. that's your sister. That's your baby sister. 
It's your baby sister, Chuchi. Say hi. Say hi, baby sister. Rach, could you get my good camera out of the car? I yeah. forgot, yeah. It's in the passenger seat. Okay, no poking, no poking. Do you like her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put your arm around her, like this. Oh, yeah. give her a hug. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a oh. big brother you are. Oh. <laughs> Look, Gigi. Okay, we have a name. Ready? So her name is gonna be recording. Wait, I didn't hang on. I gotta, you know me, it takes me yeah. a while longer. Hang on. Are we ready to have a name for the Where's baby? My, I can't even find it. Yeah, mommy and daddy have a name, okay? Wait, wait a minute. Okay, there. Now I gotta push the red button. <gasps> okay. Okay, very good. So her name is Cosette Adira Ferguson. <gasps> Cozy. Yeah. <laughs> Cosette is French for little thing, and Adira is Hebrew for strong. Oh. She's a strong little oh. thing. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That is. She's mm. precious. And to be a little okay. different, we, instead of a C, like traditional, um, traditional, uh, we're doing a K. Okay. K-O-S-E-T-T-E. Okay.